All right, and we're back. Okay, map four, we're going off to Hollywood. And uh, just as a uh, point, we can now see the Twitch chat. So, uh, hello chat. Good seeing you guys. Thank hey. you for coming out tonight. It, 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 it's a, kind of a really cool experience to be able to see um, some collegiate esports in the Midwest. That, that, that is definitely something. Uh, it's a unique experience to, to see. So Yeah, it's something that really needs developed. Um, Chase DeWitt, the CEO of Macomb Esports, has a very good saying that I really like to quote. Um, and that is, in the Midwest, there's two things to do. Drugs and nothing. And kids don't want to do nothing. So it's really important to get kids involved um, in esports and and something that they love, uh, whether that be sports, football, or whatever outlet that they, they enjoy. So, uh, back into the Overwatch action. Uh, <laughs> looks like the Cyclones are coming strong on this first point. Oh my lord. So Hollywood was a neutral pick where the last two games have been, uh, have been separate. That's behind. That's behind. Okay. Okay. Press F for electric bugalo. All right. The Hawks are not gonna try to contest that. The Cyclones are gonna take that in less than a minute. Wow, coming out strong. They're here to end this series. They are ready to be done. Uh, and uh, let's see if the Hawks can uh, retaliate and say no, not today. All right, so let's see. Let's do a quick eval of who's on the team. Uh, Capitano is back on Ana. Good. Smokus has switched over to the Roadhog. He's a flex pick. Uh, so we actually have three tanks on the side of the Cyclones and a Lucio. They're going to run that with. That's interesting. Um, I mean, if we can see the picks from Smokus, then I definitely see it working out. Oh my gosh, this is some top tier Zarya gameplay that we're seeing tonight. Just constant grabs back and forth. Retaliation. Oh my gosh. Evil Monkey has the Earth Shatter. We're gonna see if he's gonna use it here. Oh, there it is. Smoke is alting. Follow up. Ooh, they got the pharmacy behind him though. Is it too fat? He's got the tire. I wanna see if he can take out this pharmacy with this tire. Oh, you already know. Wait. Oh no, that was great alt economy. Ralph Lassen said, don't worry, I got this. Emperor said, do you? <laughs> Oh, that was a wow! How did he time that nade? That was a that was great timing. He literally saw that at the peak of uh, Ryan, oh my gosh, at the peak of Ryan throwing out that Earth Strike. Ooh, what a sleep! Capitano is on fire right now. That is some sick Ana gameplay. That's the thing about Ana though, if you're really good at her, you can change an entire, the way an entire team works. Okay, Hawks are coming back, getting some picks, holding their ground. Still three men, three and a half minutes for the payload to go. Not very far. Yeah, oh my gosh. And the but way they the did... Cyclones have been playing this game, it's going to be... Yeah, that's really the first time that uh, the Hawks have really been able to stop them. Yeah. And uh, let... I, I... I'm, I'm not sure how this is going to go or not. The, the Cyclones have won two games so far. The Hawks um, have won one, so... But the one that we did see with the Hawks, they was, definitely won. They, oh they, my they, gosh. It wasn't really close at all. Uh, they played a solid defense and an amazing offense. So... And it looks like they had a pretty if, good defense. If they can group up and get together and really, uh, like like I've been saying, uh, use alt economy and just have really good communication with the tanks, then they're going to hold their points. And that's kind of what we're seeing right now. It's just a matter of uh, shot call. It all comes down to shot calling. Who's shot calling and who's uh, who, who's making those calls? And the timing of those calls. And yeah, how, yeah. how the IGL is is uh, recognizing and, and adapting the team's gameplay. And okay. Who's the Ana all there? Oh. On the Winston. Winston's going to go on Manic. Manic has nowhere to go. It's down and he's dead. That's huge. Oh. Manic a huge part of the team usually. Um, and especially with being a healer. Okay, Skurz has a diva bomb here, and Evil Monkey has 
rage. Ooh. Oh, is it too high? Oh no, not enough. He got the cap got Capitano. So really, all that Cyclones have to push with now is the Lucio. Maybe some support from the Zarya, but I don't know if it'll be enough or not. I have one on payload. Oh. oh, are they gonna get here? It looks like they're gonna get here. Rock Blaster's not really gonna be able to defend this on his own. And they're gonna take it to the first point. Here the teams maybe in the background making out some calls, um, shot calling who would jump on, really trying to get down that Zarya. Uh, they cannot let them go and attempt it. Oh, there's a Genji blade, or the Dragon blade. Oh, the May Wall. He can't get around. That cut out a few swings. Dragex is gonna try to get behind the team. Uh, nope. Let's get in front of the team. He's gonna try to get all on that mercy. Oh, and another solid May Wall, two in a row wow. there. Rothel is on point with this, uh, on, on point here with this May Walls. Uh, unlike what we saw on the first map on Temple, he had some detrimental May Walls that uh, really stopped the team from progressing. He walled a Ryan Earth Shatter and then he walled a Diva Bomb, but now he's coming back strong. He stopped um, the High Noon and he, he's really cutting off uh, the Cyclones. So hopefully uh, they can keep him alive and play around his defense. The Cyclones that looks in its payload yeah. all the way in. Oh, we see a Diva Bomb. Are they going to get on point? Are they going to see 9 Uh-oh. Uh-oh. very difficult with the... Skurs had a big ult there. Oh, no. They don't have a shield. And they're going to take out Stay Knight. They're Mercy. They're back on point. Oh, it's just Skurs there. Skurs is trying to have... Rob Lazar just going to try to stay alive. Jack X almost has ult again. Rob Lazar is going to... Oh, that's a big May ult, but is it going to be enough? And it doesn't look like it. Cyclones take round one. Pushed it all the way. Couldn't quite hold them. And really, and really pretty easily, I would say. It, I, yeah. The Hawks had a few good uh, defensive sides there, but man, that, that's a. Uh, it was not the super close gameplay that we've seen in a lot of the other uh, games so far. Yeah, I mean, they took it in less than a minute left, so they only have a minute now um, to push and uh, or, or defend. Um, so we'll see how we how that goes when we get to that point. We still have uh, the Hawks still have to push it all the way to the end here. So we'll see if they can rally the off offense here to do so. We have seen though some solid offense out of the Hawks. With that. We saw that on uh, King Jero. Uh, coming out, right, King Joe? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and uh, so offense could could go in the favor of the Hawks. Could go, I agree. Could go in the favor. Yeah. Uh, really, the Hawks really play around. Like like I said earlier, um, they play around their DPS. Manic is great. Uh, He's been getting the picks that have been needed. He's been playing Widow. He's been playing the. Uh, he's played a little bit of Hanzo. He's played a lot of. Uh, oh my gosh, McCree. Sorry, he's been playing. Apologize. Uh, apologies. He's playing. Been playing a lot of McCree as well. So we'll see how he. Uh, see how he fares here. It looks like they're gonna run goats though. They're gonna run goats on attack. We'll see if that works out or not. Uh, Drakix is really, really the star player, the star DPS on either team. I'm gonna make the call here is Manic and Drax, uh, my, in my opinion. Um, You've also seen Smoke his plays make some solid plays. Yeah, really, Skurs has too. We, we've seen a lot of great yeah. plays out of this entire team. Looks like the guy is gonna play uh, switch off of his usual Ryan, and he's gonna play some Moira here. Lazy Too Fat's gonna play Ryan um, in this Death Ball, not Death Ball, in this Goats comp. The, the trick here is to really stay behind the Ryan shield, and anyone who goes out uh, gets Zarya, Zarya shielded. Oh, they're gonna have to jump down on him. They got. Oh no, that's a stun into a pool, into a sleep. Oh my gosh, Emphros got picked in the back line. Where'd he go? Oh, big swings away. Yeah. They're not even looking at the Ryan in their back line. He's gonna get a pin on Manic. Manic got shielded though. 
Waffle House have got purple. They gotta pay attention to that Ana, which it looks like they did. They got her down. It they looks like the yeah, pick, wow. Uh, <laughs> You're seeing another a... strong offense on yeah, the side of the yeah. Hawks. <laughs> oh my gosh. And that is going to be the first point. First point. Oh my gosh. Fern, this is some crazy gameplay. I don't even I don't even know what to do with myself anymore. This is I Hosting this match tonight, I knew that Parrot, as part of the Paradigm stop, this was going to be a crazy event, but I was not expecting something of this caliber closeness. Especially with such a rivalry, too. So, so not only do you have a close, good Overwatch game, but you also have the rivalry background as well. Yeah, and let me just make the, the let me just note again, this is the first time both of these teams are competing against each other this year, and the very first time that they're competing in person against each other. So this is uh, this is a big deal for both schools, uh, and it's really important that they take take home the W. But we'll see. My gosh, it's it's back and forth. The Hawks are pushing hard now. Uh, that's a big, big ult. That's just a wipe. The Hawks offense just can't to stop. We saw it on King Drill. We're seeing it here again. Oh my and gosh. It, I would even say this is better than the Cyclones first draft. Yeah, oh my gosh, yeah. The Cyclones got stopped uh, around this corner up here, so we'll see how they can hold this choke, or see if they can push through this choke, really. Um, it really is all dependent on this choke to determine really who uh, who's in favor here. Almost got hit when he pushed out there. Yeah. I thought he OE'd for a sec. I was worried to call it out, and then he was able to retreat back. Okay. Oh. They did take out the Lucio, though. Smokus is at 26 health. He's going to climb up. Okay, he's got to get some healing for his team. Oh, someone's got nano. It's the Zarya. The Cyclones Evil have monkey. a few to throw together, though. Yeah, they do. Smokus has got to pick on Lazy Too Fat. Manic demect the enemy Diva. Dracix is... Uh, Pushing in. Oh my gosh, it's 3-3 three, three right now? Oh, 4-3? Or no, 2-3? Oh, they're gonna push. They pushed him off and they are gonna they get are this choke immediately. They did not get stopped. So yeah, it looks like the Hawks is having a stronger, a stronger showing than what the Cyclones did on the their initial push. They have yet to be stopped. Really, if they can continue here, then they're gonna have more time, and that that's, could be a big determination on how this map ends. Once again, the Hawks um, are one, and Cyclos have won two games. So uh, we're gonna have to see the Hawks push here to be able to tie it up. This is the best of five, so we're three games. This is four games in now. Oh my gosh! Do not mess with the charge, Zarya. Uh oh. And never mind. They're not going to. They're gonna take her out. <laughs> Cyclos were like, what? <laughs> oh my gosh. Smoke is coming back. So yeah, they, they did get stopped here. They're going to have to regroup, but I mean, they have the second point to push off of now, so uh, I don't know if the Cyclone should be this aggressive. They should really retali uh, retreat back to point. Four or Oof. Well, I mean, look at look at the Hawks. They're, they have some ults coming up, too. They're about, yeah. uh, their entire we're, team we're almost have ults. This push from oh, here we go. Here we go, old school lord. Hawks blow all their ults at once. They got a pin on the Rhine. Oh! Ulting the Pharah before he dies. Dracix has got to get the justice. Also using all their ult. Oh my Man. god, that was a... What a... That what was, a Pharah ult coming out there. I don't know if Manic had his Matrix there or not, but... Oh my gosh, that was... That was not a good play on the side of Manic. If I don't know if he had Matrix there or not, but he decided to ult as soon as Dracix started ulting, and that really cost the entire team fight. He took all five of them down with that ult. That was what we like to call no bueno. I agree with you, Music Addict One. Capitano is a great shot. He is he is really uh, doing a lot of healing here on the team, and that, that gives E Cool the range to do the speed boost when he needs to get the Ana in and out of the situations. I don't think we've seen the Doom Fist all in, have we? Uh, I'm not sure. We may have seen it briefly, but it's not really stayed around. So Lazy Too Fat switched off to the Doom Fist here. So they're running quad. Oh, okay. Hawks lose their wins. They were also very low going to And now losing the Mercy the might get picked. Mercy's really, really low here. They got to keep the guy alive. The guy's alive. Okay, Skurs. Ooh, even with 
the nano it wasn't enough smoke has switched to tracer and he is in this back line he's on that mercy the guy has done a great job of trying to stay alive oh and that, and that, that was is. that was amazing by the cyclones was, wow because now they have three morals for this next push with, yeah. With really not much time left on the clock, they're, they're doing a, they're doing a phenomenal job here on this last point of defense. Yeah, if they hold him here, then that that's the match. That's it. That's the bread and butter. Let's hope that the Hawks can pull something together Do here. Do some more ults too. Oh, <gasps> did he hit that sleep? He hit that sleep. What was that sleep? Oh my god. Oh my gosh, we are seeing the plays come out here. Both teams are fighting. Just... He's on point tonight. Yeah. He's on point. They're going to return straight to base. They have to. There's nothing else. They to have to make this next push. Okay, Dracix is going to ult to get his they, team I mean, rehealed that, that and get some armor. Still has a long ways to go, and they're not able to make it around this corner. With that being said, the Cyclones don't really have any ults to bank off of here, so they really... Oh my gosh, they're just not tar They're not staying on target enough. Everyone's really scattered. Okay, Evil Monkey's got his ult. Might hold you it still here. have that. This ult could be game-changing. Well. This ult could... Oh, Skirt's down. You gotta watch that, Reinhardt. Lazy Confat decided to ult. I don't know if that was really coordinated. He took out Capitano. Oh. But they, they're still gonna have to regroup again yeah. to make this last effort a put effort push here and the, the quick offense that we saw at the beginning for the Hawks really isn't coming back out here on this third point yeah no cyclones really pulled it together for this yeah, last bit of defense they've really got to take out evil monkey he's been a problem taking out the dps that is a big that's big purple if they take out please to fight here it could be over and they're gonna focus healing on him okay that's a dragon blade oh he still has ult Got to get him before the Earth Shatter. There it is, the Wombo Combo. Oh well. no, Lazy Two Fats now on the bat. Oh, got picked. Oh my gosh. No Diva ults, no Rhine to cover. They had to get behind point. Not gonna hit the tick. The guy is in trouble. Healers trying to keep each other alive right here. Evil Monkey got nanoed. Skurs is getting attacked by Smokus in the back line. Pick on Lazy Too Fat, this may be game here. Lazy Too Fat's really got to get back. Oh, no, he's not going to get back in time. That is the match, folks. That is it. Cyclones win the series. What a game. Wow. 3-1 in favor of the Cyclones in this best of five. And uh, let's see this final... See this final play of the this game. Yeah, this. Yo, you're, you're, yeah, you're. You're gonna see the diva ult right here. Yeah, he should not have ulted there. He should have ate it with the matrix. Oof, big oof. Oh my god. To the G to the G G G G's. G G Alrighty, and Chase is going to head down towards That's right, and since they got their football game tomorrow, both of their uh, Overwatch teams are going head to head tonight. Uh, yeah, nice.